Hello, farming enthusiasts. In this video, we explore the potential health benefits and a comprehensive step-by-step -step guide to grow spirulina at home. Spirulina, a type of blue-green algae, has gained widespread recognition for its remarkable nutritional profile and potential health benefits. This microscopic organism has been consumed for centuries by various cultures around the world and is now cultivated and harvested for its rich nutrient content. Growing spirulina at home provides individuals with a sustainable source of this superfood, allowing them to harness its numerous advantages in a controlled environment. Before delving into the steps for cultivating spirulina at home, let's explore its remarkable benefits. The benefits of consuming spirulina are diverse and well documented. Number one, nutritional powerhouse. Spirulina is densely packed with essential nutrients, including protein, vitamins, such as B vitamins and vitamin E, minerals, like iron and calcium, antioxidants, and essential fatty acids. It serves as a complete protein source, making it particularly beneficial for vegetarians and vegans. Number two supports immune health. The high concentration of antioxidants and nutrients in spirulina can help support a robust immune system. Studies suggest that spirulina may enhance immune function and reduce inflammation, potentially aiding in the prevention of various diseases. Number three, energy boost. Spirulina's rich nutrient content, including iron and B vitamins, can help combat fatigue and boost energy levels. Many individuals report feeling more energized and alert after incorporating spirulina into their diet. Number four, detoxification. Spirulina has been shown to support the body's natural detoxification processes, helping to eliminate toxins and heavy metals. Its unique composition, including chlorophyll and phycocyanin, may aid in cleansing the liver and promoting overall detoxification. Number five, heart health. Regular consumption of spirulina may contribute to heart health by helping to lower cholesterol levels and blood pressure. Its antioxidant properties may also protect against oxidative stress and reduce the risk of cardiovascular diseases. Number six, weight management. Spirulina's high protein and nutrient content can help promote satiety and curb cravings, making it a valuable tool for weight management and healthy eating habits. Growing spirulina at home can be a rewarding and relatively simple process if done correctly. Spirulina is a type of blue-green algae known for its high nutritional content and potential health benefits. Here's a step-by-step -step guide to growing spirulina at home. Unlock the secrets of cultivating this green treasure in the comfort of your own home. Materials needed. We need to gather the following 11 items before we can start growing spirulina at home. Spirulina culture or starter kit, suitable containers, glass or plastic, air pump and air stones, pH test strips or meter, nutrient solution, typically includes sodium bicarbonate and other nutrients, light source, natural sunlight or artificial light, thermometer, distilled water or filtered water, stirring utensil, plastic or wooden, fine mesh or cheesecloth pH up-down solutions, if necessary. Step-by-step -step procedure, Prepare the growth environment. Clean and sterilize your containers thoroughly before use to prevent contamination. Fill the containers with distilled or filtered water. Ensure that the water is chlorine free, as chlorine can inhibit spirulina growth. Inoculate the culture. Add the spirulina culture or starter kit to the prepared water. Follow the instructions provided with the starter kit for the appropriate amount to add based on the volume of water in your container. Provide aeration. Install the air pump and air stones in the containers to provide constant aeration. 
Spirulina requires a continuous supply of oxygen for optimal growth. Maintain optimal pH. Check the pH of the water using test strips or a pH meter. Spirulina typically thrives in alkaline conditions with a pH range of 8.0 to 11.0. Adjust the pH as necessary using pH up or down solutions to maintain the optimal range for spirulina growth. Control temperature. Maintain the temperature of the growth environment between 30 to 35 degrees Celsius. It is equivalent to 86 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. As spirulina grows best in warm conditions, use a thermometer to monitor and regulate the temperature if needed. Provide light. Place the containers in a well-lit area with indirect sunlight or under artificial light sources such as fluorescent or LED lamps. Spirulina requires light for photosynthesis, but direct sunlight can lead to overheating and inhibit growth. Nutrient supplementation. Add the necessary nutrients to the water to support spirulina growth. This typically includes sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, to maintain alkalinity and other essential minerals. Follow the instructions provided with the nutrient solution for proper dosing. Stirring and maintenance. Stir the spirulina culture gently once or twice a day using a plastic or wooden utensil to prevent settling and ensure uniform growth. Monitor the growth of spirulina regularly and adjust the environmental conditions, pH, temperature, light exposure, as needed to promote healthy growth. Harvesting spirulina. Spirulina can be harvested once it forms a dense green mat on the surface of the water, typically within one to two weeks after inoculation. Use a fine mesh or cheesecloth to strain the spirulina from the water. Rinse the harvested spirulina with fresh water to remove any residual culture media. Storage. Store the harvested spirulina in a sealed container in the refrigerator for short-term use or freeze it for longer storage. Use the harvested spirulina in smoothies, salads or other recipes to enjoy its nutritional benefits. By following these steps and providing the necessary care and attention to your spirulina culture, you can successfully grow spirulina at home and enjoy its healthful properties. Troubleshooting When growing spirulina at home, encountering challenges or issues is not uncommon, but troubleshooting these problems can help ensure successful cultivation. Here are some troubleshooting tips for common issues encountered when growing spirulina. Contamination. Issue. Contamination by other microorganisms can occur, leading to a decline in spirulina culture health. Troubleshooting. Tip. Maintain strict cleanliness and hygiene practices throughout the cultivation process. Sterilize equipment and containers before use and ensure that the growth environment is free from contaminants. If contamination occurs, consider restarting the culture with a new starter kit. Low pH. Issue. The pH of the growth medium may drop too low, inhibiting spirulina growth. Troubleshooting. Tip. Regularly monitor the pH of the water and adjust it as needed using pH up solutions to maintain the optimal pH range for spirulina growth, typically between 8.00 to 11.0. Avoid over-acidification by minimizing carbon dioxide buildup and ensuring proper aeration. High temperature. Issue. The temperature of the growth environment may exceed the optimal range, leading to reduced growth rates or even death of spirulina. Troubleshooting. Tip. Use a thermometer to monitor and regulate the temperature of the growth medium. Ensure that the temperature remains within the optimal range of 30 degrees Cc to 35 degrees Cx, 86 degrees Cc to 95 degrees Cf. Provide adequate ventilation or cooling if necessary to prevent overheating. Insufficient light. Issue. 
Spirulina requires sufficient light for photosynthesis and inadequate light exposure can impede growth. Troubleshooting. Tip. Place the containers in a well-lit area with indirect sunlight or provide artificial light sources such as fluorescent or LED lamps. Ensure that the light intensity is appropriate for spirulina growth and adjust the duration of light exposure if needed. Poor aeration. Issue. Inadequate oxygen supply can lead to stagnation and decline in spirulina culture health. Troubleshooting. Tip. Ensure proper aeration by using an air pump and air stones to provide constant oxygenation of the growth medium. Check the air pump regularly for proper functioning and clean or replace air stones if they become clogged. Nutrient imbalance. Issue. Imbalances in nutrient levels, such as insufficient or excessive nutrients, can affect spirulina growth and health. Troubleshooting. Tip. Monitor nutrient levels in the growth medium and adjust the supplementation accordingly. Follow recommended guidelines for nutrient dosing and avoid overfeeding, which can lead to nutrient imbalances and adverse effects on spirulina culture. Slow growth or decline issue. Spirulina growth may slow down or decline for various reasons, including environmental stresses or nutrient deficiencies. Troubleshooting. Tip. Assess the overall conditions of the spirulina culture, including pH, temperature, light exposure, and nutrient levels. Make necessary adjustments to optimize the growing conditions and promote healthy spirulina growth. Consider restarting the culture if growth does not improve despite troubleshooting efforts. By employing these troubleshooting tips, and maintaining careful attention to the growing conditions, you can overcome common challenges and cultivate healthy spirulina at home successfully. Regular monitoring and adjustments will help ensure the vitality and productivity of your spirulina culture. FAQs. When growing. Spirulina at home. What container should I use for growing spirulina at home? You can use glass or plastic containers. Just ensure they are clean and sterilized before use. How often should I change the water in my spirulina culture? You typically don't need to change the water unless it becomes contaminated. Instead, top up with fresh water as needed to compensate for evaporation. Do I need special equipment to grow spirulina at home? Basic equipment like air pumps, air stones and pH testing kits are recommended for optimal growth. However, you can start with minimal equipment and gradually invest in more as needed. Can I use tap water for my spirulina culture? Tap water may contain chlorine, which can inhibit spirulina growth. It's best to use distilled or filtered water to avoid any potential contaminants. How much light does spirulina need? Spirulina thrives in moderate to bright light. You can place the culture in a well-lit area with indirect sunlight or provida artificial light sources like fluorescent or LED lamps. How long does it take to grow spirulina at home? Spirulina typically takes around 7 to 10 days to reach harvestable biomass, depending on various factors such as temperature, light and nutrient availability. What should I do if my spirulina culture turns a different color? A healthy spirulina culture should be green. If it turns a different color, it may indicate contamination or nutrient imbalance. Assess the growing conditions and take appropriate corrective measures. Can I use spirulina from my home culture as a dietary supplement? Yes, once harvested and properly rinsed, Spirulina from your home culture can be consumed as a dietary supplement. Ensure it's stored properly to maintain freshness and quality. How do I know if my spirulina culture is contaminated? Signs of contamination include unusual odors, changes in color, or the presence of other organisms. If you suspect contamination, it's best to discard the culture and start anew with a fresh starter kit. Is it safe to consume spirulina grown at home? 
When grown under proper conditions and harvested correctly, spirulina cultivated at home is safe to consume. However, always ensure cleanliness and hygiene practices to prevent contamination. If in doubt, consult with a healthcare professional. Conclusion In conclusion, growing spirulina at home offers individuals a convenient and sustainable way to incorporate this nutrient-rich superfood into their diet. With its numerous health benefits, including immune support, energy enhancement, detoxification and heart health promotion, spirulina stands as a valuable addition to any healthy lifestyle. By following simple cultivation techniques and providing optimal growing conditions, Individuals can cultivate spirulina in their own homes and reap the rewards of its exceptional nutritional value. Embracing spirulina as part of a balanced diet can lead to improved overall well-being and vitality.